These are the top 10 things we think you need to know about Jamboard. Woohoo! All teachers and students can now access, create, and collaborate in Jamboard. Jamboard is now available from the Google Play Store and the App Store for iOS. Once you download the app, you will be prompted to sign in with an email address. Use your Cypress Fairbanks ISD email address so that if your teacher chooses to share with the sharing permissions of anyone at Cypress Fairbanks ISD, you will still be able to access. If you're using a personal account, you will not be able to access the jams that are shared in that way. Jamboard is part of the Google Suite, which means that all of your jams are stored in your Google Drive. You can also create a new jam directly from your Google Drive. This makes it easy to find and search your jams at any time through your drive. A best practice is to share your jam only with people that you know by using their email. Notice that you can give different editing rights depending on the person. So they could be an editor, they can be a viewer, or you can even give temporary access that only allows them to view and comment. You can also remove a user at any time. The other option is to set it to anyone at Cypress Fairbanks ISD. Again, you'll have the option to view or give editing rights. So you choose how you want that user to be able to interact with your file. Once you're done, you would copy that link and send it out to your audience. Another idea for teachers when using Jamboard is to have the document as editable when you are doing it live with your class, but when you are finished, you would change the rights back to view only for your Cypress Fairbanks ISD link or with the emails that you've shared with directly. This will keep that jam safe and uneditable while you are not in there watching. Jamboards can easily be integrated within Schoology. The teacher can add a jam as an external link on a main page. They can also add it on a page as a link or embedded. It just depends on how you want your students to be able to access that particular Jamboard. Remember, when you give editing rights to anyone besides the owner of the jam, those collaborators now have all of the same rights and access as the owner of the jam, which means they can delete, add, change, and move anything on the jam. The only thing that they are unable to do is undo actions of another person. So remember that as you're giving rights that that person is now able to do everything that the owner can do. Collaboration in a jam is shown in real time. You'll be able to see the person's icon up at the top to show which slide they're working on and exactly what they're doing on your jam. This is great when you're doing this live and in class. This is very, very important. In Jamboard, there is no version history. In other Google Docs and Slides, you are able to go to the file menu and see the version history, which allows you to see what each person did and exactly what time they did that. Unfortunately, this is not available in Jamboard. You will only be able to see the collaboration of who is doing each thing in real time. So make sure that your students are aware and that the teachers are aware that the only time you can see edits are when it is happening live. When using Jamboard, it's very important to remember to be a good digital citizen. That means being respectful to others that are collaborating with you on your jam. 